everyone. My name is Ying and I am the 2021 Music Captain at St Margaret's. It is my pleasure to welcome you all to our annual Masters Recital. Indeed, all the performers today were extremely excited to perform in person for you all after last year's online event. However, we all know how unpredictable this pandemic is and therefore we are bringing the music to you once again online. As you all probably know, the Masters Recital is a showcase performance of students from both senior campuses of St Margaret's and Berwick Grammar School. This year is the 11th year of performances and it has become a highlight in our community's performing arts calendar. The Masters Recital is open to senior school, senior school students who are performing at a high level on their chosen instrument, usually above a grade 7 AMEB standard. This year, there were over 20 applicants to participate in the recital. Each student was adjudicated against a performance rubric and from this group, 14 performers have been selected for tonight's recital. Students have been busy preparing for tonight's performance with their music teachers and will be accompanied by the official accompanist, Mr. Dean Sky Lucas. I would like to take a moment to thank all of the teachers and parents of tonight's performers, as I know certainly I would not be here without their help and support. Tonight's performances not only reflect our efforts, but also yours. Tonight's adjudication will be presented by Mr. Andrew Wales, the Principal Conductor and Artistic Director of the Royal Melbourne Philharmonic. Although this is a competition, all the performers today have received valuable feedback from our adjudicator, which will definitely help us in our future musical endeavours. The winner of tonight's performance will receive a $500 cash prize kindly sponsored by Peak Real Estate, Berwick. In addition to this, a new encouragement prize of $150 will be awarded to a notable performance kindly sponsored by the estate of Elizabeth Whiteside. Tonight marks my sixth year partaking in this recital and every year the standard of music at the school just gets better and better. I am so grateful to know all of these incredible musicians who all bring something new to the table. Our program tonight will definitely keep you entertained. From very well-known classical pieces to a few contemporary hits, there may even be a hint of Disney. I hope you all enjoy the outstanding musicianship, professionalism and music of St Margaret's Barrett Grammar Music Students. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brian Lamb and I've been playing piano for six years. Today, I'll be playing Tarantella by Albert Piaxonka. I'd say the piece is quite a fast-paced piece and it has a lot of exciting moments, but I think there's also a time for a bit of relaxation in the middle. Uh, I like to think of it as sort of a hypnotic stage, I suppose, in the middle, uh, where the namesake of the piece is Tarantella, obviously. Um, but you can sort of think of it as the Tarantella hypnotizing its prey, I suppose. I hope you enjoy my performance this evening.
Hi, I'm Nayo Inskip. I've been singing ever since I could talk, but officially since I was seven, and I recently completed BCE Music in Contemporary Voice. Tonight I will be performing Mother Knows Best from the musical Tangled, um, written by Alan Menken and Glenn Slater. So this song is about a very protective mother, sometimes overprotective, and she is just sort of making sure her daughter stays in the tower and she makes sure that she is contained and there is some malicious intent behind it but it's sort of um, packed down with a lot of passive aggressive, um, aggressiveness. I really want the audience just to have fun with this piece. It's very fun to perform and I hope you see that on stage and just to enjoy it and smile. <laughs>
my name is Megan Hansen and I've been singing for about eight years now. I'm currently about to take my grade eight singing exam for AMED. Uh, the song I'll be performing today is Runaway by Aurora. It's probably gonna sound a little bit cheesy, but for me this song is kind of about being homesick, but almost for a person. So wanting to be with someone and knowing you can't. And at the same time, it's also kind of about trying to figure out who you are as a person and being comfortable in your own skin. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy my performance. in the sand but when I picked it up then it vanished away from my hands I had a dream I was seven climbing my way in a tree I saw a piece of heaven waiting impatient for me And I was running far away Would I run off the world someday? Nobody knows, nobody knows And I was dancing in the rain I felt alive and I can't complain But now take me home, take me home where I belong I can't take it anymore painting a picture the picture was a painting of you and for a moment I thought that it was real but then again it wasn't true and all this time I've been lying oh, lying in secret to myself I've been Putting sorrow on the farthest place on my shelf Whoa. And I was running far away Would I run off the world someday? Nobody knows, nobody knows And I was dancing in the rain I felt alive and I can't complain But now take me home, take me home where I belong I've got no other place to go Now take me home, take me home where I belong I've got no other place to go Now take me home, a home where I belong I can't take it anymore But I kept running for a soft place to fall And I kept running For a soft place to fall And I kept running For a soft place to fall And I kept running For a soft place to fall running far away would I run off the world someday but now take me home take me home where I belong I've got no other place to go now take me home take me home where I belong I've got no other place to go now take me home Take me home, a home where I belong Ooh. Now take me home, a home where I belong Ooh. Now take me home, home where I belong I can't take it anymore
Good evening, my name is Miller Marks Bolton and I've been playing trumpet for 12 years. Tonight the piece I'll be playing is The Return, composed by John Hartman. This piece was composed by John Hartman when he was playing with English brass bands in the 19th century. This is significant to me because my granddad actually played this piece about 55 years ago. Whilst this piece is relatively unknown, it is a triumphant war piece and I hope you enjoy my performance tonight.
Good evening, my name is Michelle Zeng and I have been playing piano for about 13 years now. I am currently preparing for my Amos A in piano. Tonight I will be performing La Ghetto by Avo Part. This piece uh, portrays the different emotions felt by, felt by different dreams. So from a very intense and scary nightmare to a really calm and sweet dream. I hope you enjoy my performance this evening. Thank you. My name is Isaac Dubensky. I've been playing alto saxophone for four years um, and I've recently completed my associate diploma in performance with Trinity College London. The work I will be performing is Brasileira from the Scaramouche Suite by Darius Milord. What's really interesting is that a Scaramouche is actually an Italian clown and I think that um, quite aptly describes the character of this piece. It's very joyful and playful in its nature and um, it's quite fun to play. As you listen to my performance tonight I would encourage you to listen out for the different characters of the different clowns that you can hear throughout the piece. At the beginning it's quite um, frantic and um, with the various running passages um, and then he kind of gets a bit more relaxed in the second half before finishing triumphantly.
Hi, my name is Rachel. I play the piano and I've been playing for about 11 years. I'm currently preparing for my certificate of performance exam. Tonight I'll be playing Liebestrom, composed by Franz Liszt. So this piece is based on love and the loss of love. It sends a heartbreaking message that uh, you have to treasure those that you love and there will be one day where you have to part. I hope you enjoy my performance this evening.
um, I play violin, I've been playing violin for nine years, and in a few weeks I'll be uh, singing for my Elmas. Tonight I'll be playing Introduction in Mondo Capriccioso by um, Saint Songs. Uh, this piece was originally written for a famous violinist and composer, um, Sarasate, and um, um, it was it had a lot of like Spanish influences at the time, and it was quite popular during his days. Yeah, I'd enjoy playing this piece. There's a lot of like different sections that come across and go. I hope you enjoy my performance this evening. <laughs> Thank you. 
name is Hannah Harding. I'm playing the piano tonight. I've been playing for five years now and I'm studying my Grade 7 AMAB certificate. Tonight I'll be performing Prelude in C Sharp Minor by Sergei Rachmaninoff. It is a romantic style of piece, uh, very uh, emphatic on the chords and the movements of dynam the dynamics throughout the piece. I hope you enjoy my performance this evening. <laughs>
Hi, my name is Ben Scarborough and I've been singing for six years. Tonight I'll be singing This Is The Moment uh, from Jekyll and Hyde which was composed by Frank Wildhorn. Uh, this is a musical theatre piece and it's all themed towards the idea of passion and you know, the willingness to succeed and go on and stuff. I uh, hope you enjoy my performance tonight. This is the moment, this is the day When I send all my doubts and demons on their way Every endeavor I have made ever Is coming into play It's here and now, today This is the moment this is the time when the momentum and the moment are in rhyme. Give me this moment, this precious chance. I'll gather up my past and make some sense at last. This is the moment when all I've done all of the dreaming, scheming, and screaming become one. This is the day, see it sparkle and shine, when all I've lived for becomes mine. For all these years, I faced the world alone. And now the time has come to prove to them I've made it on my own. This is the moment, my final test. Destiny beckoned, I never reckon second best. When I look down, I will always recall. This is the moment. The sweetest moment of them all This is the moment Damn all the odds This day or never I'll sit forever with the gods When I look back I will always recall Moment for moment This was the moment the greatest moment of them all. Hi, my name is Ying. Tonight I'll be playing the piano and I started when I was four. This evening I'll be playing Le Plus Calante, which is composed by Debussy. The piece I'll be playing is Le Plus Calant, and in French it translates to the even slower waltz. So I aim to um, portray this French impressionistic style. I hope you enjoy my performance this evening.
Hi, I'm Chloe and I've been learning the violin for eight years. I've recently completed my Amos A and I'm really glad that I'm learning the violin. The piece I'm performing is the Violin Concerto in A minor, which is composed by Barbo. The piece I'm performing is a concerto, which is a work for solo and orchestra, though the piece that I'm performing has been arranged for piano. It's special because it's, it conveys a wider range of emotions, which can be a really beautiful anger and can also be a very serene rest. I'd like the audience to listen to all the beautiful and maybe even ugly parts. It depends on how you would like to convey the piece, but it's, I hope that you will enjoy my performance tonight.
Good evening everyone, I'm Yardley Minyork and I have been singing for about seven years because I love it and I love to be able to share that passion with others and I'm about to complete my grade 8 singing exam. So the song I'll be singing for you tonight is titled Breathe In Now by Katie Noonan and the song talks about the journey of life and how it may feel like we are doing that alone but in truth none of us are ever alone and we always have people there who are ready to support us um, and do life with us. Um, the song is constructed in a really beautiful way and the melody really reflects the storytelling of the lyrics and as the lyrics climax, um, so does the melody. Hope you enjoy Today I 
Hello, everybody. First of all, thank you for this wonderful opportunity to judge this competition, this uh, wonderful celebration of music. Um, and I'd like to thank Martin for the invitation to do so. Uh, I wanted to preempt um, my uh, judgment and, and comments with a few general um, general words at the start of the of the event, uh, just to sort of, I suppose, help people understand where an adjudicator is coming from when they when they um, make their judgments in, in competitions such as these. There's a series of things that one has to consider and, and there's, a, there's a combination of technical elements. Uh, so for example, were the notes correct? Uh, simple as that. Uh, were there um, uh, incorrect rhythms or were there a bad pitch or was there uh, any sort of mistake that was obvious that was significant? Um, there's that technical element. Then there's uh, the artistic, I suppose, and the interpretive elements. Um, so for example, you know, tone, colour, expression, rubato, all of these technical terms are what makes music very um, beautiful as opposed to just very perfunctory. Uh, also the interpretive elements of um, the artist themselves, how they have interpreted a piece. Is it stylistically correct? Is it appropriate? Are the tempos uh, pretty much what the composers asked for in the piece? Um, do they manage to convey an emotional uh, message to the audience? All of these types of quite complicated um, aspects need to be looked at. There are various other technical points that get considered as well. Um, and then I suppose on top of all of that, at the end of the day, there's a general musicality and a general uh, thought from the adjudicator as to um, what makes one performance more enjoyable or more spectacular than another. Uh, and so I wanted to begin by just saying that a competition like this really isn't about who comes first, second or third. It's about giving each of the students a chance to hear some feedback uh, following their own performances. It's obviously very difficult when we're comparing different instruments and different age levels and, and different levels of experience uh, in the one competition. Unlike sport, where there are lots and lots of different divisions and heats and, and all the rest of it until you get to that very elite level. Uh, in music, um, it's one of the beauties of it that you know age isn't so important. So it comes down to musicianship, etc. But nevertheless, it is difficult uh, to compare apples with oranges a piano with a violin, a voice with a saxophone. Uh, all of these uh, different instruments have different technical challenges um, and obviously the choice of repertoire uh, obviously can, can vary greatly between, um, between each of the performers. I wanted to say overall that it was a wonderful standard. It was a very high standard of performance and in fact there were a couple of items uh, that I think really, you know, you could, you could quite easily say uh, are worthy of a professional uh, stamp. Um, you could hear them performed professionally and you wouldn't be uh, too upset that you know uh, it was being performed by someone still at school. So a big congratulations to all of the students, a big congratulations to Dean Sky Lucas who did a, quite a fair share of the, of the piano work um, and uh, that's a very important aspect obviously of of a competition like this too, and the fact that uh, each of the students requiring an accompanist uh, could share on Dean's experience and technical skills. Uh, that gives that a, a nice level playing field too. So um, thank you to all of you. Uh, uh, congratulations to all of your um, teachers for wonderful preparation. Uh, congratulations to the schools who are putting this event on, to St Margaret's and to Berwick Grammar School. Uh, you should be very proud of all of these performers. Uh, and uh, I'll give some very detailed results to each of the performers. Uh, at the end of the uh, competition, um, I'll, I'll send some written comments for each of the performers um, and I'll just make some very um, short um, general comments at the end of this uh, performance this evening um, uh, and, and announce the, the uh, prize winners. But thank you all uh, and uh, please uh, accept my congratulations, all of you, for some splendid music making in this recital. Before I announce the place getters, 
Um, I wanted to make a general remark about the standard of the pianists that we heard in this recital. There were a number of them. Uh, I won't try and remember all the names now because without notes I'll probably get them wrong or at least mispronounce a few of them. But I did want to congratulate all of those uh, pianists for some really beautiful playing. Um, it was difficult comparing so many different pieces of repertoire, really distinctly different styles um, and uh, and I think they were all played uh, generally at a very, very high standard indeed. Um, obviously, in a competition like this, it's very hard picking one or two players uh, when there are so many excellent musicians in the field. But uh, in particular, I think there were a number of pianists who I awarded very high marks to. Um, in fact, several exactly the same marks. And uh, whilst there can only ever be one or two winners uh, in a recital such as this, I, I wanted to make special mention of a number of the pianists who did receive very high marks. And to them, uh, big congratulations. Uh, really fantastic um, technical skills, but also memorization. Um, a phenomenal achievement. Uh, I can't do it. Uh, and and uh, I take my hat off to you all um, for the way in which you approached this competition and selected some really beautiful and challenging repertoire. Uh, it was great to see such a wide variety of really good repertoire. So to your teachers too, um, well done. Uh, fantastic work preparing your students and uh, particularly to those students who receive very high marks. Uh, congratulations on some beautiful performances. In second place, I awarded um, that honour to Isaac Tabensky, uh, the saxophonist, for his performance of the third movement of the Saramouche Suite by Milo. Uh, it was a really fun um, and enjoyable performance. I thought it was a very classy uh, interpretation. It was, it was cleanly played. Uh, it was uh, really well executed in terms of intonation. Um, I loved the attention to detail, the little things, the articulations, the accents, the tenuity, all the little things on the page that the composer writes and asks a, a performer to include in their performance were, were pretty much there. Um, I really liked your controlled vibrato, Isaac, uh, a really subtle um, vibrato in places and then and then just occasionally a little bit more to warm and and to really uh, ornament uh, certain phrases uh, it had a really elegant feel to it and it looks like you were in complete control from start to finish uh, it was a a fun piece to play uh, i'm sure it was it's meant to be it was certainly fun to listen to and i enjoyed it very much uh, congratulations on second place in first place I awarded the violinist Chloe Liu the uh, top prize for her beautiful performance of the first movement of Samuel Barber's Violin Concerto. Um, apart from being um, a very complicated piece of music to memorise, um, I thought Chloe displayed some really beautiful um, musicality. There was some lovely tone. Um, she managed to use her vibrato to colour some of the lower passages in particular, and there was some really beautiful intonation in the high and very demanding um, uh, parts of the parts of the movement. Uh, also she negotiated some very awkward shifts beautifully. Um, it was a, it was a tour de force. It was a really beautiful performance and I, I just felt that it had a, 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 an artistry and a maturity about it that was uh, made it worthy of, of first prize. So congratulations, Chloe, um, a wonderful performance. And uh, I believe you get an envelope uh, to go with my, my praise. Um, congratulations again, look forward to hearing you um, in your future endeavors and well done on first place in this recital.